Today, I'm doing a quick video about how to find cheap houses in Spain. I personally bought a three-story townhouse in Spain for under 25,000 US dollars. I found my house online, but I've learned a lot since buying that first property. And I just want to give you an overview of the ways I would now look for my next property in Spain. Number one, online. Obviously, looking online is going to be a highly used option, especially if you aren't in Spain. To find the home that I bought, I think I googled cheap houses in Spain. This is definitely a way to see some available options and you might find some great properties, but likely you won't have a comprehensive list. In my opinion, a lot of things in Spain still aren't at the digital level that you might see in other areas of the world. So you would have to sort through a lot of individual sites that aren't necessarily built very well and only a few listings on each site that might interest you. The sites that I've used that are easy to navigate and have a good amount of listings are realtor.com forward slash international. They have an international site that allows you to choose the country and then you can filter down from there. I wasn't able to do this in the app, but you can use it in your browser. Idealista.com has been another decent one. I believe it might even be where I found my property. Spainhouses.net is one more that seems to have a really good amount of listings. Number two, looking local. If you walk around the towns in Spain, you will see real estate offices that post house listings in the windows. If you know the area that you want to live in, visiting those towns and local real estate offices is going to give you a good idea for everything that is right around that area. Number three, walking the actual towns and meeting some of the locals. Some of the realtor fees can be hefty, especially if you're looking for a cheap property. For example, there is an agent in the town where my house is listed who is very well known, but she charges 7,000 euro for every sale. It's not a percentage, so if you were trying to make 25,000 euro on a house, she would need to sell it for at least 32,000 in order for that commission to be covered. Anyway, if you can find a local seller and properties that have signs on the street with WhatsApp numbers, you could end up saving a chunk of money. My fourth and last suggestion, another way to find local sellers if you aren't in the area would be through Facebook groups, such as local community groups or buy sell trade groups. In this case, you would need to know the town or area that you are interested in. I am part of the English speaking community group in my little town in Spain, and it has been invaluable for all sorts of reasons. Asking other expats who live locally is always a great way to start. If you are considering buying a home in Spain, I say go for it. If I can help in any way, leave a comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe to join me for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see where your dreams will take you.